would definitely say that this uh, experience is life changing. It's not just the content, you learning everything you need about life coaching. You have the definite blueprint that comes, trust me, it comes. But the network, being surrounded by women that have been in your shoes and that support you, that are willing to be there for you. This is not just a, um, a coaching session or a training where you get trained and then you're just off in the dust by yourself. The follow-ups, the encouragement, the support that you need is the icing on the cake because the manual in the class has everything that you need. Um, I often look at this and say, don't be caught up on the one day, eight hours. It is truly just enough for you. I've had to record, I mean, I've had to rewind sessions and listen again and listen again and take notes. And that's what's important to you. The eight hours is exactly what you need. Um, everything that you need is in that manual. You go at your own pace, you go at your own time, but trust me, you're gonna finish in due time and, and exactly and wrap it up because you're gonna be yearning for more. The insight that you get and you see, you're gonna have time to rewind it, listen again and focus. And when you're sitting in my position right now where you just done two co-coachings, one sporadically, you're gonna feel confident to serve your community and be ready. So that's what I would say. Um, she won't push you beyond where you're going to go, but she will push you where you need to go. But she always say now with your permission, because there's no need pushing somebody who's not ready. And that's what I like about it. She 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 definitely can can hone on to people because when I know when I went through the class, it didn't take nothing but this long. She knew everybody. She knew who came and who was going to do something. She knew who was like, well, we know you ain't here, but you may need to come a second time. I mean. She just to pick up and read people, and I think to mm. be a coach, that's the first thing you have to be able to read people. And she will make you face your fears, and you don't even realize it. And you were like, oh, okay, here I am. So I have fully enjoyed every video that I've watched of Dr. AJ Austin. I've fully enjoyed the content. Um, I have a master's in counseling. And even with a master's in counseling, the type of skill that is developed through this coaching process doesn't exist in that training. So I think it's a wonderful um, way to build your skills as a life coach and connect with some pretty dynamic people um, across our country. So I say, do it, um, do it with passion follow the directions um, and um, yeah, dig deep within self um, if this is what you wanna do, cause it's worth it. It's worth every dime, it's worth more. Um, and I genuinely believe in Dr. Uh, Austin and how she has developed something unique for people of color, but black women specifically. If you're the person to want to do things at your pace, but you're driven enough to make sure that you can cross that finish line, by all means, definitely do the one day course. If you have family to where you can't carve out explicit eight hours, but you could definitely give Kate that time, self-paced study is the way to go. So if there was a lady who has that excuse of life is going on, so much is happening, I don't know, Coach AJ, maybe one day, what would you tell her about sitting still and taking the one-day life coach certification training with the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC? I would tell her life is going to always happen and life is always going to go on. Just take eight hours, one day, to set aside some time to do something for yourself that will move you one step closer to a goal that you have. Because you can do it. I thought it was great, and um, I actually appreciate you um, giving me you know, the time that I needed. Um, 
you know, there'd be nights when I could, you know, only get one or two videos in. And no matter what I told you, I did. You, you know, were, a, you know, like cheerleading me and, you know, giving me kudos. And, you know, times when I had challenges, uh, you would get on it right away when I couldn't pull anything up. But the good part was that it was all peaceful and I didn't get stressed out about it, you know, having so much going on at the time because you gave me the time I needed. And I told you that was like my welcome break at night. A lot of times I would sit with my tea, my cup of hot tea and, uh, you know, watch my videos and it was, it was my time. So I thoroughly enjoyed it and watching all the videos and the way you have everything laid out. Uh, it gave me what I needed to be able to even envision myself on a call, much less actually doing it. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah, and the, the girls, like I've said, this, you know, different levels of the people uh, that had gone through training that you had on the calls, they really were effective because you got to see their own those styles. So I like that way you have it laid out as well, because everything that you teach, uh, you demonstrate it. Sometimes it's you talking, sometimes it's in the form of uh, interaction on the video. And I could tell that the ladies are feeling their way through as well in different you know, stages of, of the coaching. And uh, I felt it felt so relatable, like, it's not just me. I'm not in this by myself. I know I got you, but I'm saying it feels like, you know, you have kind of like a, like, it's like a community. The training was filled with all the information that I needed to start my business. It was structured very professionally. Uh, Dr. AJ was um, she's very experienced and she packed this package with everything that I needed to, to be a successful life coach to start off with. I mean, I'm looking forward to growing more, but if you want to be a certified life coach, I would highly recommend this program. It was quick, but it was self-paced. So I was able to take my time and go through the program and it was filled with an abundance of information and the it was very affordable and uh i would highly recommend it to anyone hi i'm samil mayfield coach number one whatever i one by two with the International Center for Life Coach Training and Dr. AJ. Um, I signed up to be certified through the International Center for Life Coach Training because of Dr. AJ's personality and her energy. And what I found was her eight hour self-study course was very comprehensive, but I also was not left alone just because it was a self-study course. Dr. AJ's course covers the coaching process to niching down to marketing, how to find clients, how to coach people, sample coaching sessions. We had to coach our client. We had to coach an additional coach and get constructive criticism. I don't think she left a stone unturned preparing me for my first coaching client. And she continues to support me as well. Um, I just think that if you are on the fence or if you are considering getting your certification through the International Center for Life Coach Training, what you waiting on? What are you waiting on, JL? Hey, girl. Rep your city. I don't see me. <laughs> Let me pull me up. Oh, y'all see me. I see that y'all see me, but I don't see me. And I want to see me. <laughs> Say hello when you come in the room. Let me know what city. You're representing me and JL in the ATL. Look at that. Hashtag bars. I promised y'all yesterday that I was going to rap. 
when I find words that rhyme. Say hello. I'm so glad you're here with me live. Okay, I'm going to turn me down in my ear, take out my earpiece, place it there, and get ready to dive in with you. Are y'all ready for day three? Hey, day three. Welcome. <laughs> this is day three of the Future Black Life Coach five day boot camp. We got two more days after this. It's been a lot of fun so far. We got so much fun to go. Hope you got your journals and your cute pens and your something to drink. And you're ready to engage. I hope you brought your energy. Told everybody around you to leave you alone for about 60 to 90 minutes on tonight. Because we're about to go in, okay? If you can think of one person who should be here, including a fellow coach in our group, because we're live in our group of future Black women Christian certified life coaches, make sure you give out the website, www.futureblacklifecoaches.com, because that's where. You can come and join us live, engage live, and get all the training stay connected in our Christian coaching community, which many of you are already here with me. I'm waiting on y'all to say, hey, speak back, don't be rude. We're here in the South, so you got to speak to everybody when you enter the room, okay? So futureblacklifecoaches.com is for everybody who's not already in our group. If you're listening like on the Facebook page or on YouTube or on our podcast, come on over and join us live. And get your daily tips, your weekly tips, in between time and the meantime, like when we're not in boot camp, you can still learn how to become a professionally trained, skilled, qualified, certified Black woman Christian life coach. Okay. <clears throat> so day two, we went through what we call the eight modals of coaching. You met the first 110 coaches that I certified. You learned how Black life coaches make money and how much. And then you learned the three coaching categories. These are the three common coaching categories. Who can remember, recall from day two, which one you were? Drop it in the comments, let me know. We are on a slight delay on Facebook. So you guys may be talking to me and I just don't see it yet. So I have to give Facebook a chance to catch up. Um, and we wrapped up. Ooh, excuse me, day two with you, hearing from one of our coaches and meeting a few of your future fellow Black Women Christian Certified Coaches and those who came before you. And these are our professionally trained, skilled, qualified, certified coaches. So I hope you guys are ready to be a part of the fun. I'm so excited. And <laughs> Tracy says she's at Costco with her earbuds in. Okay, you got to do what you got to do to make it work. I don't mind multitasking. If you don't know what we've been doing the last two days, make sure you go back and watch the replay. They're available for all five days that we're together for you to go back and watch the replay. JL says she's ready. Shouts out to Lucy Belinda. It says others, but it won't show me the name. Hey, Felicia, JL been rocking with me um, from Jacksonville, Florida. Felicia's in the house and me and JL are in the ACL. I'm so excited, you guys. What are you looking forward to on today? Talk to me in the comments or if you can recall something that you gained the last two days, put it in the comments and let me know because you guys like put together your experience so beautifully. And I love selecting like our favorite comment. We're going to talk about that in a minute. We're also going to give away. Y'all ready for a giveaway? I love giving stuff away, especially to pe people who appreciate it. So I got a special giveaway. So y'all remind me. That's why it pays to be here early and live because you get to talk to me and be like, Dr. H, I remember to give away. Okay. By the way, if you don't know me, you should. I've introduced myself every day. So why not today? I'm Dr. AJ Austin founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC. It's on my shirt. I train Black Christian women to become certified life coaches online in one day. The last two days, we've walked through my journey of how I've been in this game for over a decade. And we got 187 coaches on our roster at the time of this recording. I'm so excited about that. And 
And we will have more after this boot camp. So make sure you join us daily with your journals, set your alarms, put us on your calendar, kick everybody out of the room, come learn with us for about 60 to 90 minutes for the next three days counting today. And uh, learn what you can about taking the next steps to getting certified, becoming professionally trained, skilled, and qualified as a Black woman Christian certified life coach. Today, we're doing a giveaway. It's worth over $297, so make sure you stay to the end for more information on that. We're going to go through more money, 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 honey. We started that conversation yesterday, but I'm going to break down some numbers today and let you know what $145,000 represents, okay? And then you get to learn what I call the C3 method. It's something God downloaded in my spirit after I read a really good book. Can't remember the name of it, but they were talking about um, a system that a well-known company trains on. And I was like, God, I want a system. I want an acronym that means something. And so he gave it to me. I'm going to tell you what that is coming up. But in our C3 method, you learn how to confidently convert coaching conversations <clears throat> to clients, cash, checks, and credit cards. If you could use clients, check, clients, cash, checks, or credit cards, put it in the comments and let me know. Okay. I see that y'all are ready. So I'm going to keep moving on. Make sure you keep representing. Keep talking to me. Keep the energy high. Because again, we're here live. I could have sent you guys pre-recorded this and download this and click play and watch at your leisure. But no, we came together for such a time as this. So let's engage. Let's fellowship. That's why we're here live on today. So make sure you keep the energy high. Even if you're out and about multitasking in Costco doing your thing, okay? Yes, JS says C3 me. Felicia says CCC. I love it. So clients, cash, checks, and credit cards is what we're going to go through. I'm going to use three case studies today and two success stories. And you're going to get to hear from Coach Andrea. You met her on our uh, Lady of Legacy documentary film on day one. And she made $3,000 in her first two weeks as a Black Woman Christian Certified Life Coach. And then, of course, the reason we're all here, I'm going to share more about my one day Black woman Christian life coach certification. Are you here for it? If you're here for it, talk to me in the comments and let me know, okay? So as we're going throughout our time in the boot camp and after, we have a hashtag going called future Black life coach, hashtag future Black life coach, okay? So it's just keeping the conversation going. You're going to post in our Future Black Woman Christian Certified Life Coaches private Facebook group where you are not only in our Christian coaching community, but you're sharing your aha moments from today's training or any of the days that we're together. We got this um, hashtag running so that you can share your takeaways, so that you can share your aha moments, the little golden nuggets, the tidbits that I drop throughout our time. You may hear a future fellow coach say something and you love it, quote her with the hashtag future black life coach, okay? Share <clears throat> because I love uh, featuring and spotlighting our favorited, most engaged commenters. So that's why I'm telling you, talk to me, okay? And so I do that in our group and on my personal social media channel. So say something like deep and profound, or if I say it, quote me, and then, you know, you could be in the running for being selected as a favorite. Oh, this is one of our certified life coaches. Her name is Coach Dina Chambly. That's how I like to say her last name. She is just this cheerful spirit. Um, she's featured on one of our uh, podcast episodes when our coaches graduate with us. You get to hang out with me behind the scenes for about a good old hour or so, but it's just me and you, and we are live, live, like you talking to me, I'm talking to you in the moment, um, real time, and uh, Coach Dina has her own podcast episode with me talking about her journey to getting certified as a Black woman Christian life coach. She's coach number 170. I mentioned we are at number 187 at the time of this training. And Coach Dina just has a heart of gold. She's always bubbling. And so she is just encouraging those of you <clears throat> who want to know what it's like to become a Black woman Christian certified life coach. And so because, let me see, I don't want to mess anything up. I am messing something up, Lord. Okay. I was trying to zoom in 
let me see. Did I mess it up? Yep, I messed it up for you. But I wanted you guys to see her testimony and I want to be able to read it. So she says, I thoroughly enjoyed the training I've received. Dr. AJ is amazing. She opened my eyes to what being a Black woman Christian certified life coach really means. She is wise beyond her years. I am encouraged to get started coaching and helping people discover the gifts within themselves. Now, that's Coach Dina. Let me see if I can get us back to a <laughs> regular size. I don't even know. I just clicked on something um, and they let me do that. So let's see if we can get back to regular screen. There we go. Okay. <laughs> the writing was too small, even with glasses. So I had to magnify it. So if you want to know how I've been able to do what I do, certifying coaches, getting them on magazine covers and documentaries, starting podcasts, writing books, speaking, featured on reality TV shows, just starting with the confidence of becoming a certified life coach, you're in the right place. Um, and if you're ready for the deep and profoundness that JL is looking for, she's like, yes, I'm here. <laughs> uh, talk to me in the comments. Let me know that you're ready because You've been here with me, right? Like you watched the replays, you've been here live. You're here. You're going to be here the next two days. Um, and so you know what the boot camp is all about. You know what you're going to discover, what you've been discovering and uncovering and revealing and almost shouting about from day one. You know who this boot camp is for and you know what to look forward to, right? Like you know why we're all here, right? Talk to me. Because that's the reason why, not only why you're here, but why you should keep listening. Let me tell you how I've been able to do this. So my life coach certification investment journey is extensive. Like I put together some numbers I'm going to go through with you. Um, and it's telling you what I've been able to successfully invest, whether it was financially directly, whether it was an investment of my time, whether it was the value of mentorship or reading books or going to conferences. Like I've listed out my journey um, up to this point. And I know I forgot some stuff, but let me break this down real quick for you. So my first life coach, her name was Rita. She was a black lady. Over $2,232.06 worth of services got me to get sparked, to, to know what life coaching was about. I had never had anyone put that much focus on me and my life goals and what I wanted and what my next step should be. And she was real good about keeping me accountable and on track. And she was real and rugged and rough around the edges. And that's what I needed, that tough love at that moment in my life. And then I went to school at Georgia State University, Georgia Perimeter College, and Clark Atlanta University here in Hotlanta, Georgia. Studied psychology um, over $54,111.01, like that penny counts too. Then there's the training and, training and development degree when I transferred over to Mercer University, class of 2016. Thank you very much. Go Mercer Bears. And had to switch my major, even though I was mostly through college. But y'all saw my life journey. It took me like 15 years to get this degree finally. It was my mom's literal dying wish, like make some of yourself, get your education. Like she knew my potential. So she kept me in school and busy. So I have one of those brains that needs to be like, give me something to do. And so she knew books was the way to go. <laughs> and so I made mama proud, got her degree from Mercer University, $27,098.13 later, in addition to what I already been invested. Then there was life coaching and becoming a master life coach with about four years of apprenticeship worth over $18,083.14 and so many sacrifices that are priceless. I can't even put a number and a value on it. Then there's the master life coach certifier training where um, you guys saw me standing in heels and teaching classes, 22 different trainings, um, 20, it was a couple hundred hours, I know that, um, and then I went through five different versions of the life coach certification process myself, like literally sitting in class, being the student, taking these trainings that were all like full 24-hour days and taking weeks of my time just to gather the knowledge that um, I wanted to get 
to feel comfortable to bring this to you, to be here with you today. And so that totals over $19,882.17. The writing is so small on my side. I'm gonna see what I can do about that later on, okay? Then there's the Life Coaching Master's Degree, which is still in progress with Liberty University um, online program. They have a master's degree in life coaching. So only uh, fellow nerds would be interested in something like that. And I am. That would be my master's. Um, that's for me. Degree one was for mama. So this is my degree. Over $17,992.78 more added to that investment total. And then there are my current coaches. Now, this number is old. I need to update that. Um, I think that was just for my first year starting out where I invested over $5,634 in just one coach. Um, I have five coaches now. I think it's more than that. I lose count because I'm always joining programs and hiring coaches and making sure I stay up on this education as a coach. So I have a five-fold ministry of marketing, ministry, money-making, mindset and manifestation in my coaching company. So we are a full five-fold ministry in that sense, okay? And all of that comes together for ministry and marketplace, just kind of marrying those two together. And so when I show up on platforms like this, I can speak from personal experience for how this works, how we are blessing the lives of our coaching clients and making money doing it. Because the Bible says, a man who don't work, don't eat. So this is how I work. This is how we eat. Y'all ready to eat? Okay. So here's our total that's going to be updated soon because I know it's more than that. $145,033.29 over time getting this certification, getting to this point. And so I share this because a lot of people wonder or they flat out ask, how can I get to where you are? This was my investment. I didn't, you know, y'all just heard me say it took me 15 years to get my first degree. So Look at everything else that came after that. If you have a whole like three decades or so, I can take you step by step. JL says she's hungry for it. Like, let's browse this. So this amount, while it looks like a lot, as I keep mentioning, it's really more than that. And it continues to grow because education as a coach is ongoing. And so even though I've invested this amount into my education, I also realized that this wasn't enough. I'm still going, y'all. There are still people out in the world of coaching who know more that I want to know too. So I invest and I'm willing to invest in it. And I currently have coaches in those five areas that I told you about. I still invest in my education and I encourage you to do the same because there are people who have paved the way. You don't have to figure this out on your own. You don't have to go alone. It's so important to surround yourself with a community of accountability, of structure. I love structure. I love like, give me a template, give me a book and send me on my way. I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to be the star student of the program. Okay. So I encourage you to be open-minded to hiring, to joining, to coming on board with what I got going on with the Black Woman Christian Life Coach Certification Self-Study System to help you get certified in so much less time than it could take. And many of you guys confessed on like day one that you've been on this journey for years and it hasn't happened yet. So this is my way of helping you get there quicker. So here's the life coach self-study system. We have Black women certified life coaches. Aren't they cute? They're in their coaching shirts. We have <laughs> Coach Tanisha, Coach Tracy, Coach Shannon, Coach Naricia. You guys met um, her on our documentary feature yesterday in day two. Um, there's Coach Bev, Coach Alexis, she's in Texas. Coach Camille, she's here in Georgia with us. Coach LaTanya, she's here in Georgia. Coach Corinthia's here in Georgia. We got a lot of Georgia coaches. Coach Lakaya's here in Georgia. And here are a couple spots that we're looking forward to feeling during our time together in this five-day boot camp. Who can see their pictures posing in their shirts with their selfie in one of those little question mark boxes? Let me know in the comments. Like, I can see it, Dr. AJ. 
So I've invested hundreds of hours of live in person and live stream life coach certification training. And I've officially trained and have now certified that 187 plus because we're growing black women, a Christian certified life coaches worldwide who are now known as the ladies of legacy. And legacy is an acronym that stands for ladies empowering generations and coaching you. And this is where you come in. JL says visioning. Tamara says me. I see it. Felicia's like, yeah, <laughs> three times three. Father, son, and the Holy Spirit, right? So my training company currently offers a one-day Black woman Christian life coach self-study system. It is a certification process. It's 24 hours in total. Um, one of our coaches that you may have seen in the video I showed before we got started, she's like, no, that was quick. It went by really quick. And we get the compliment so many times that people say, you know, when they get their first their hands on the handbook that comes first, they can't put it down. They can't stop reading. They can't stop watching the videos. They love the self-study process. And so that's why I love showing our coaches in action because if you can see yourself here, that's gonna be you since I'm touching and agreeing with all y'all. We doing like the Sealy color purple slide, baby, all that. I can touch and agree with you, okay? This self-study course breaks down the dynamics of doing three things that we're going to talk about tonight. Number one is connecting, which we're doing now. Y'all are talking to me in the comments. We're connecting where we're from and how long you've wanted to be a coach and if you really want to get the tea on how to do it. And then secret number two is coach. It's the word coach broken down into a five-part acronym. I'm going to give you that secret tonight. And then converting those coaching conversations into clients, cash, checks, and credit cards. You're going to meet one of our coaches who just like literally did everything that she was supposed to do, took off running and surprised herself with how successful she was straight out of the training. So again, if you can see yourself as one of our newly certified life coaches, keep hanging out with us on tonight. Make sure you're here the next two days because your moment is coming, okay? I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't want to hear no nothing. You better be ready when the door is open, okay? You talking to me in the comments? Coach Yvonne says, I can see it, Coach AJ. Coach Yvonne, you are moments away, okay? You are so close. Keep going. Coach Yvonne is one of our coaches in training. So she's already registered in the training and doing so well, staying on track, keeping me posted as she should. <laughs> I check up on all of our coaches and make sure you got what you need to successfully complete the training. So let's see if you got what it takes to like apply yourself. To becoming a Black woman Christian certified life coach. Y'all ready? If you're ready, put a number 10 in the comments because we're about to do something fun. Y'all know how I am with these activities. So I hope you got your shouting shoes on, shouting Johns out here that want to praise the Lord and scream hallelujah. Who was that that said you feel like you was, I was trying to get a, a, a praise, a shout, a hallelujah, a dance <laughs> on day one. That was my favorite comment. Okay, I see your 10s. So these are 10 coaching categories. This is a really fun activity. Um, these are the 10 must haves. Like there's no way around it. You can't really pick and choose. And this works. It's 10. Y'all got your 10s in the comments. That means you understand. These are 10, not 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, or 1. But 10 must have um, things that every Black woman, Christian certified life coach, should have, must have, needs um, to be successful. These are called your coaching characteristics. We also call this the Black Life Coach Quiz. So some of you guys got a sample of that when you took the quiz um, to become a part of our community. These characteristics are great for connecting heart to heart. There is nothing like coaching from your heart, meaning you're not uh, being superficial. You're not trying to, you know, coach from the ego, making yourself look good. You're not trying to appear smart or that you know everything. You're not giving advice or sharing opinions or giving everybody their answers. You're really listening to your heart and letting God speak and then asking some really good questions. And God helps you to get to the heart of the issue, the matter, the question, the circumstance that your client is dealing with. And the client then says, Wow, that was such a great question. You are so good at this. That's coaching heart to heart. 
And so when you have these 10 characteristics, these are your next steps on your journey to becoming that professionally trained, skilled, qualified, Black woman, Christian certified life coach. And so the following are a few questions that I put together in a format. Again, we call it's we got so many names for it, the Black Life Coach Quiz, 10 Coaching Characteristics, but it was initially called the Life Coach Selfie. And it wasn't like take a selfie like you just seen our coaches in their uh, selfie pictures in their t-shirt, but it was like a selfie, meaning a self check, a way for you to check in with yourself to make sure that this is what you want to do by becoming a certified life coach. It's going to help you determine if you're truly ready to become a certified life coach online in one day with me or not. So give yourself 10 points for each of the following areas that apply to you, okay? 10 points, that's it. Y'all ready? I think you're ready. <laughs> Tamara says in hallelujah, she said she wanted me to praise. Well, listen, let God speak on tonight with number one. Here's your first one. Give yourself 10 points if people have often told you that you're a good listener and you're easy to talk to. They're like, I just love our conversations. I always feel so much better after I speak to you. Or if you're like me, you could be standing in a grocery store line and the person in front of you or behind you will literally just start talking to you out of nowhere, telling you their business. And you're like, I didn't even ask. I was looking at my phone, not paying attention. Why are you telling me this? They're like, you're just so easy to talk to. Number two, give yourself 10 points if you are naturally inquisitive. AKA nosy, nosy by nature. We just born that way. And you ask a lot of questions. Um, we went through some of the coaching qualities where we do ask questions and we listen and we ask more questions. And again, we're not giving advice, but we're just asking questions. We're trying to help people get to the point of stop talking about something and be about it, do it. Okay, cool, I see some tents. Number three, give yourself 10 points if you feel called to help others discover their life purpose. I felt like this all my life. I had a high school sweetheart. We dated for about four and a half years off and on because I would dump him from time to time if he didn't have a job. If you weren't trying to go get a car, if you weren't going to finish school and try to make some of yourself. So he learned to make me happy. He had to be doing something. He eventually joined the army and went on and lived life happily ever after. However, I've always known that people around me got to be doing something with their life. Like, what are you doing? Don't you want more? I can't be doing this by myself now. You can't be around me if you ain't trying to go nowhere. So you're one of those as well, trying to help people do something, discover their life purpose. Another funny story is fresh out of life coach certification. I was dating another guy. And I said, I want to practice my, um, what I just learned in class on you. Is that okay? And I literally helped coach him into his life purpose. He went and got a better job, a higher raise, making so much more money, living such a happier life. He even went on to do greater things without me. I'm like, my mission is done. Purpose served. So I'm helping people get to their life purpose. Is that you too? Because I mean, I see some 10, 10, 10s, okay? Hey, Tracy Jones at Costco. She's one of our future Black life coaches as well, already in the program and about to finish that thing. We speak in life. <laughs> Number four, give yourself 10 points if you love to help others accomplish their goals. So not only are we helping them discover their life purpose, like what you gonna do with your life? But we're like, okay, let's take a goal. Is it to get a better job? Is it to get a better home? Do you want to go to school? Do you want, what do you want? Let's work on a goal. If you love helping others get to their goals and accomplish them, not just talk about them, not just write them down, not just create a vision board around them, but like, no, let's work. Let's work through those goals. Give yourself 10 points for that. Number five, give yourself 10 points for if you're a person who loves getting results from hard work, like that's super important to you. You're like, if I do the work, when I do the work, I need my credit for it. Like I love when I show up first to things and I get acknowledged. So um, 
our first person here tonight was JL that I seen. I saw some people pop on and out, but they didn't stay long enough to get their credit for that hard work of setting aside the time to be with us the whole time. So shouts out person number one on tonight. Hard work is important to you. Give yourself 10 points. Number six, give yourself 10 points if you value accountability. And what that means is you too know you have a life purpose. You too know you have goals. You too know um, that it takes hard work to get to where you need to be. But also, you like to be called out. Or as I've heard a coach say, called in to be called forward, to be called higher. So that means, you know, if you out of line a little bit, it's okay for someone to call you on the carpet. Or if you like doing that for others, just holding the space, saying, hey, you said you was going to do this by this date. Update me with this goal. Have you reached that point? Let me see some tens. Okay, I see y'all rolling in here. Number seven, give yourself 10 points if you thrive on structure and specialized skills. We just talked about that. Going to school, getting things in order. As my mama would say, you got your priorities straight. You're getting your life together. You got something to show for it. You like structure. You like things to be laid out step by step. Tell me what to do. Like I told you, you know, give me a book. Give me a template. Send me on my way. I'm going to figure it out. So if you're that type of person, you like structure and specialized skills, give yourself 10 points for number seven. Number eight, give yourself 10 points if you would love more than anything to be paid, but not just paid, paid well to simply ask questions. I just asked y'all a question. Give yourself 10 points if you would love to just ask questions and get paid well. I see some tens rolling in here. So I'm hearing some cha-ching going tonight, huh? Number nine, I see you. Give yourself 10 points if you implement information that you learn. Perfect example. Every day after this boot camp, I have posted in our group, we'll do it again after we're no longer live here tonight. And I say, hashtag future black life coach, tell me your one takeaway, your aha moment. That means that you guys have some information that now you can go out and implement. You're not just learning for fun. You are holding these things in your heart because you know it's going to lead to the next step. You're ready to implement the information that you learn. Give yourself 10 points. Coach Yvonne says paid well. Look at them tens with the exclamation points. I know that's all right. And finally, number 10 of 10 coaching characteristics. Give yourself 10 points if you value patience and the ability to hold space for others. What that means, and it's funny because one of my coaches just talked about this on a training I listened to of hers today. Holding space is when someone is sharing something with you and maybe it's been framed in our friend groups like, oh, I just need to vent. I just need someone to listen. You know, or maybe you've been like that where you just want to share your heart. Don't try to, please don't try to fix me. Please don't try to suggest what I need to do. Just listen. I just want somebody to listen. That's called holding space. Whoever is listening, they're holding the space for you to just spaz out or forgive me if that's a bad word. You know, some people take offense to that, but you just want to vent. You just want to just kind of go ham as the kids would say and ham to me, H-A-M stands for have a moment. So you just want to have a moment. You just want to let it out. Somebody needs to hear it. You got to get it out of your head. And the person that's just listening and nodding and not interrupting, not judging, they're holding space. So that when you like, that felt good. Okay, I'm back. Now let's talk. They've been holding that space. That's what we do as coaches for our clients because sometimes people don't have that person in their lives. So if you value having that type of patience, if you're the person on the other end, they can let the people go ham and have a moment and you value that ability to hold that space for others. Give yourselves 10 points. So here we are at number 10. And now it's time for the big reveal. Y'all ready? All of these tens I've been seeing, 10, 10, 10. Calculate how many tens you have. And if you have all 10 tens, <laughs> that means you have a total of one hundred points. So you are definitely ready to become a professionally trained, skilled 
qualified Black woman Christian certified life coach and have me as your trainer. Because these are all of the 10 coaching characteristics that you must have in order to make it through. They're also going to be the characteristics that you must hold on to for your coaching sessions after training. So this is our Black Woman Christian Life Coaching selfie. I see some 100-point earners. Yes, ham, hey, having a moment. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, girl. I came up with that myself. So you might be my favorite comment. So far, I told y'all I've been getting deep and profound on how out here in this straight. Oh, Coach Yvonne says, thank you, Dr. AJ, for holding this space for me. Graced with patience. Seed planted in good ground to bear fruit. I'm reading through y'all comments that um, Facebook skips sometimes. So I'm just now seeing them speak it. Yes. So um, you're ready. This is the life coach selfie. This is a snapshot into what life coaching is and what it can be like as a certified life coach. So if you have, you know, been wanting to become a coach, you probably didn't know these are some characteristics that you're going to need. And these are what's going to keep you sane and keep you holding on. Okay. So let's talk about it. <laughs> Tamara says, I like the ham acronym. Thank you, girl. So that's easy to remember when you're holding space. You're like giving your clients permission to just go ham, just to have a moment. So who all got 100 points? 100 points. I saw Felicia with 100. Tamara had 100. We got some future certified coaches here with us on tonight. I see you. <laughs> Who else got a hundred? Let me see. I'm scrolling through comments. Okay, Tracy, I'm just now seeing you representing Pasadena. Hey, girl. <laughs> uh, Coach Sam says she's driving and trying to engage with typos. Girl, so can I do the same thing? Welcome and thank you for being here and multitasking, including us in your day. Tamara has her 100, JL, Felicia. I love to see it. So let's talk about it. What was out of these 10 something that you had not even thought was a part of coaching? Out of all of these 10s, what one thing surprised you that it was actually a coaching characteristic? Talk to me, especially our 100ers, okay? Coach Yvonne, we're just putting you in the 100 category because you're already on this journey. It's too late to turn back now, okay? <laughs> we're about to do something really cool. I'm going to show you how these 10 coaching characteristics, those aha moments, those surprises, those discoveries that some people have made um, about themselves taking the quiz, they put it into action. They said yes to their next steps. And it was all using these three secrets to becoming a certified life coach. Y'all ready for the three secrets? I'm going to tell you because I hope y'all are telling me something that you discovered out of the 10 coaching characteristics we just went through. So I got a formula for you. C plus C plus C. C plus C plus C equals confident coaching. And so there are three C's in our formula, and they're the secrets to becoming a confident coach. Y'all remember the confident coach from our coaching qualities? No, they were from our three coaching categories. I got a lot of little, you know, um, activities we do, so I get them mixed up sometimes. Let me uh, see what y'all saying here so Facebook doesn't lose you. Here's Black Life Coach Felicia says, I actually connected being a coach. I actually connected being a coach based on my characteristics. It's, it's all about you. And we're going to um, talk about that more too coming up because uh, coaching is based on your characteristics, your personality. Did you know that? I got some more goodies for you. So make sure you hang out with us, okay? Tamara says, um, inquisitive surprised me. Yes, those question askers, there's no coach like a toddler who says why a million times. But I can literally show you how that one question can get you through an hour worth of coaching sessions, just digging, digging, digging. And there are some people um, who teach what's called the seven layers. And it's just based on asking the question why, which is being nosy, 
inquisitive and digging, but it uncovers a lot in a life coaching session. Coach JL says, yes, ready for the secrets. Coach Trey says, Facebook took forever to post your live. I was on day two for the longest. Oh, you were on the replay. Um, and I came on early to give us time to get set up. So I'll probably try to do that for the next two days as well to make sure y'all see me live. It populates to let you know we're live. I don't know what Facebook be doing, but I can't control it. I'm just like, let me show up and they'll get here. Coach J now says, what I learned from the 10 characteristics is that I will be helping others accomplish their goals by asking questions. That's literally the definition of life coaching. So you're in the running for being selected as favorite comment of the night, okay? <laughs> That's literally life coaching, asking questions, being nosy, listening, holding space as your clients go ham. We're going to talk about what that looks like, okay, with our three C's to becoming that confident coach. So secret number one is connect. Hope y'all writing these down. Might be a quiz. You never know. Secret number two is coach. And coach is a five-part acronym. I'm going to tell you what each letter means in just a moment. And then secret number three is convert. And convert is to take it from one thing to another. And in this case, going from helping people for free, listening to them for free, letting them always count on you and call on you for free to being like, hey, here's what I do as a Black woman Christian certified life coach. And here are my fees. Will that be cash, checks, or credit cards? And they pay. Um, coach Town says, hey, Sherry, Sheree, switching to being a mental health RN really allowed me to tap into practice coaching, so to speak. Yes, we have um, so many, you heard all the careers we called out yesterday from the first 110. We have so many unique careers that come get certified with us because you need, I think one of the most unique careers has been a real estate agent. She came to get certified with me um, so that she can share with her team as she coached them on how to sell houses. I thought that was so super cool. Then we had an Uber driver um, who would say, you know, I'm counseling anyway in the trip between the airport and wherever they go in, might as well learn the skill of coaching and get clients. And he actually did. This is when we were coaching live here in Atlanta and anybody could come to the trainings. Um, so we've had a lot of unique careers, especially in the healthcare field, in the hair care field. They're like, um, being a psychologist all day, listening to problems, I might as well help them. We have a bartender, so many people can use the skill of coaching. It's literally just asking questions and sitting and listening and asking more questions, okay? So let me show you what that looks like. Number one with our secret is connect. And when you connect, which questions get you to that connection, you're connecting with your coaching clients when you show up, when you're there and present mentally. You're not just, uh-huh, uh-huh. You're not just waiting on your turn to speak, but you're listening, ready to dive into what they're saying and turning it into a question. So the reason I um, am an advocate for not giving advice or sharing opinions, number one, is when you do that and people go out and do what you tell them to do when it don't work, guess who they're going to be mad at? But when you can take something someone shared with you and turn it into a question, then it becomes coaching and it's the client's idea. It's their own answer to their own question. So for example, Tamara just said, switching to um, being a mental health RN really allowed me to tap into practice coaching, so to speak. Um, instead of me saying, so have you ever thought of, um, well, I'm coaching, I do it automatically. Instead of telling her, hey, you should become a coach because you could use it as an RN. I would literally say, have you considered what you do in the mental health space as an RN really um, being beneficial to getting certified as a coach. And then you taking that and tapping into what you already do. And then she'll be like, huh, I hadn't thought about that. And then you ask more questions. So one question leads to the next. So it's easy to go from giving advice to coaching when you can turn it into a question. And that's an activity we used to do live in our trainings where um, if you wanted me to help you with anything, you had to ask it in the form of a question. So um, who asked yesterday about like advice I would give my younger coaching self? That's a great coaching question because it got my mind to switch from teaching to like, let me go back. And now let me show you how you can use it as coaching. So if you guys come up with any 
question you want to ask on tonight, go ahead and put it in the comments because that begins the form of questioning and coaching, okay? And so when you speak up, when you show up, when you hold the space and share exactly what your clients need to hear from you, it's usually in the form of a question and that starts that connection process. So again, you're showing up for your people, you're speaking to where they are now, you're connecting with them. And remember we said heart to heart connection. You're not in your head. You're not dreaming about your day and wanting a session to wrap up. You're not judging them for their decisions or thinking how they get on your nerves and blah, blah, blah. You are holding the space to ask questions. You're listening to the Holy Spirit. That's why I love working with Christian women because we know how to like shut up and pray, <laughs> okay? So you might be silently praying in your head like, Lord, give me what to ask next. But one of the things I love about my training is I give you a list of over 100 questions to ask in a session. No, you don't have to memorize them, but it's just a way to get you going, okay? Yes, Coach Tam, that was such a great question. So the fact that you knew to just put a question in there, you had already started the coaching process. So I love that. So thank you for sharing that. And if you come up with more questions, just post it in the comments. I love this. So we are showing up for our people. We're speaking to where they are now. We're connecting heart to heart. We're speaking and we're sharing spirit to spirit. So a lot of times when um, people jump on my lives or they find me on YouTube or they hear our podcast and they watch my videos and they're like, Dr. AJ Austin, it's just something about you. I've heard that all my life. Because I work in the Christian community, we all know that it's the Holy Spirit. I am a saved woman, love Jesus, scared of anything else, okay? And so because of that, your spirit as a saved woman, that's why we start off with, are you black? Are you Christian? And are you a woman from day one? Because that means our spirits can connect. So we're connecting spirit to spirit. We're connecting heart to heart. And I'm hearing the heart that you have to help other people. So that's why our lists and our categories and our qualifications, characteristics, they're connecting with you because it's speaking to where you are in your spirit. It's going deep into that conversation you've already started with God. And it's connecting. And this next case study is a perfect example of how that happens. So this is Coach Camille, and she's very special in our community. Coach Camille was literally the first person to raise her hand to say, please, Dr. AJ Austin, train me to become a certified life coach. And so this is when I was taking training from offline to online in the middle of COVID and was trying to decide what we're going to do. And she was like, well, if I sign up, when I sign up, when you tell me where to sign up, I'm going to be the first one. So she's literally coach 111. And what that means is she's the first coach to, that started to train with us online and completed that process. The first 110 were live in person. So coach Camille, she wanted to become that life coach to enhance her skills um, on her corporate job. She wanted to benefit her work as a minister in her church. And so she was the first one to tell me, you know, I was scrolling through Facebook. I kept seeing your face pop up on my Facebook lives. Um, she told me she was laying in bed one night and God showed her my face and she ended up back on my Facebook page watching more of my Facebook lives. And then she found herself on my website looking for the Life Coach Certification Training Program that she had heard me to mention in the videos. And when she found it, she said she just closed her eyes and clicked submit payment. She was not going to talk herself out of it. She was ready to roll. So she mentioned that uh, what she saw in me and what she heard in my story, it was a significant sign of humility. Um, and so that was our first way of connecting, how I shared my story, how she saw, you know, the light of Christ, how her spirit connected with my spirit, how we spoke heart to heart. And I was on video, you know, and so she recalled um, telling me how that was a great trait to have in a trainer. And that's what she later told me. She knew she wanted me, a professional trainer with a degree in training and development, because that shows that. I'm studying this craft. It's bigger than just pay me some money. Let me tell you some things. No, I dig into how we learn as Black Christian women. We don't like to learn from just anybody. We don't let just anybody speak over us or into our lives, right? You got to come with it. I know because I'm one of those people. And so you guys are my people. And as a professional trainer with a degree in training and development, she said that really stood out to her. Um because that showed that I had years of studying, but not just studying, leading, years of leading and submitting under leadership in the area of life coaching. 
So y'all notice my education all led up to life coaching. And so she said she knew she wanted me to be her trainer because of my personal training style. It was very practical and straight to the point. Same way I show up here with you guys. I'm the same way in our training on video, okay? So these are previously recorded trainings with our certification um, students who started with us and let me record them in action. So you get to see me be probably a little bit more crazier than I used to be. I've, I've mellowed out a little bit. But she said she loved that because it was straight to the point. And she loved that I'm extremely knowledgeable about the life coaching industry. And she mentioned that she really appreciates how I continue to learn my craft and study it. And she could tell that I knew my stuff. So that's what made her sign up. So she joined me in a small group of ladies in a boot camp style masterclass similar to this one. And at the end of the class, again, she raised her hand. She said yes to becoming a professionally trained, skilled, qualified Black woman Christian certified life coach. And so she has since been added to the growing list of newly certified life coaches worldwide who have personally trained with me online. So that's what you guys will get the opportunity to be a part of. And so Coach Camille graduated. And then this is part of her testimonial, but she also stated in her testimonial that the online life coach certification training works really well and how it's very cohesive and that she really loved the component called co-coaching. Uh, and Coach Yvonne is about to discover what that's all about in her training coming up. She's already working on it. But this is where Coach Camille received um, another chance to connect with other coaches individually in the Ladies of Legacy and as a group. And so this group, this um, exclusive Christian coaching community is just for our Black Christian certified life coaches. So they come together in our private group um, and they are the ladies of legacy. And so when she found out she had a whole community behind her, not just me, but so many other little coach AJs coming up. She helped us build out that community. She's the reason we have t-shirts like this today. Um, and she's like, we want to celebrate, you know, what we've been able to do. So Coach Camille said that I came into her life as a coach to help her better herself, to better her church and her corporate communities and to bring her idea for becoming a certified life coach to life. And so because she connected with me and my personality and my story, which she said helped her confirm her decision to come train with me, our connection led her to making the assured decision that life coaching was the thing for her. So I told you how the 10 coaching characteristics is what's going to let you know that this is what you want to do. So that was her confirmation. She's like, life coaching is my thing. And so she said that by having a coach, she didn't feel alone, nor did she have to figure everything out on her own. So remember I said, you don't have to go alone. You don't have to invest 145,000 like I did. You don't have to invest decades like I did. You have a community ready to support you and stand with you. So she launched her finance coaching firm um, since becoming a certified life coach, which was super exciting. I love her story uh, coming in. She started a group for women who wanted to become first-time homeowners but had bad credit. So she learned the credit system and created her coaching finance firm around that system, bought her first home, and helped others do the same. And so little stuff like that just lights me up to think that life coach certification gives you the confidence to just launch your dreams, things that you've been holding on to. So Coach Camille's story of connecting with me heart to heart started when I showed up for her on Facebook Live. And then we connected spirit to spirit when God showed her my face, when she asked him for guidance. So I share that because some of you guys have already started the conversation with God about, OK, Lord, what's my next step? Should I say yes? When should I say yes? Are we ready? Do I have your permission to move forward, Father? So that's the conversation you have before you come register with me. Because if God can't help you, I don't know what you want me to do, which. But OK. Uh, so when she got guidance from God as to which way she should go um, with becoming a certified life coach, that was our connection. She took those next steps. So the same way I was able to connect with Coach Camille is the same way you can connect with your future coaching clients. Like um, whose question was that saying? Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Let me look. OK, JL. She said, um, I didn't realize, <laughs> you know, the 10 coaching characteristics that I'll be helping others accomplish their goal just by asking questions. That's it. That was that connection. 
that's going to be the connection you're going to have with your coaching clients. That's what me and Coach Camille had. Um, and so you have that to look forward to as well. So as a recap, connection is secret number one of the three secrets to becoming a professionally trained, skilled, qualified, certified Black woman Christian life coach. Okay. You guys had some questions. Let me see if I can see them. Let me scroll Facebook. Uh, Coach JL says, do we define our long and do we define our lean? Do you mean lane? Tell me what you meant right there so I can make sure I answer it right. Um, and what it means, like trying to eliminate judgment words like good, bad, but rather beneficial and not beneficial. Yes. So um, Coach Yvonne, you can help me with this because you have quicker access to your handbook than I do at the moment. But there's an activity that I teach, um, just switching your mental framework. So yeah, we're not, oh, lingo, okay. Yeah, so we're not judging. We're not, um, you're right. We're not telling our clients good or bad. You don't have to agree with your client. You will get so many unique clients, especially as a general life coach. People will make life choices, decisions, have different beliefs than you. Your job is not to be there to judge them. You're simply holding the space, listening the, listening, and helping them achieve the goals they say they want in their life. So a life coach's uh, three main results, outcomes, benefits is to help our clients set goals, take action, and achieve results. So notice I didn't say judge, make better decisions. You know, you may know that that's at the core of what you do as a coach, but yes, you're right. Um, you don't want to tell them, you know, I agree with you. I don't agree with you. That was a bad decision. You can phrase it to say, you know, do you think that was a good decision? Because our clients' answers are within them. So if you can phrase it to get them to answer, then it helps. So JL, as a quick uh, bonus quiz, how would you rephrase telling someone that it's something good or bad or beneficial or not beneficial? Turn that into a coaching question for me. Um, she says, what if coaching leads a person to change in such a way that disrupts their family life? That ain't your business because you're coaching one person at a time, unless that person and their entire family is in your group coaching program. So one person hires you, one person pays you, one person comes to the coaching session, you're working with one person. Even with counseling, coaching is completely opposite of counseling. I train counselors. And so a coach can be a counselor, a counselor can be a coach, but they're not the same thing. And so counseling deals with our past. How does that make you feel? Why do you think you did this? You know, and it's usually like mama issues or something like that. And I share that because, um, you know, you, when you go through counseling, it's usually just you. And if, even if it's couples counseling, um, they counsel you together and individually. So in your case, this is one-on-one -on -one coaching fresh out of the gate. So you're just working with one person. Your job, you're not even there to help change that person. You're there to help them set a goal, take action, achieve results, whatever it may be. And you're going to hear some stories. I got some stories I can share on just that one question alone. Um, but if you can help that person get specific to what goal they want to achieve, you can't help you know, the outcome of it disrupting their life. Um, and so that, that's a pretty deep question. We could do some extra training on. Any other questions y'all want to throw in there? Go ahead and put them in there. Let me see, make sure I got it. Okay. So we talked about Coach Camille with secret number one. If you're ready for secret number two, put a two in the comments. Put a two in the comments because secret number two is our acronym for COACH. C-O-A-C-H. And that first C. Stands for conversation. Same thing we've been having, um, just like that. So, real quick, Coach J.O. says, rephrase question, question mark. <laughs> like, do you think your choice was beneficial? Um, what would you do differently for it to be more beneficial? Great job, Coach. Yes, exactly. <laughs> You're on a great path with that. So conversation, that's exactly what it is. Asking questions starts the conversation. Um, it's easier to get a person to open up and talk to you when you come into the conversation with a question versus a command, a direct demand, a statement. 
a sentence. And so um, the coaching conversation, this is where you learn how to coach your clients through confident coaching conversations. So the uh, coaching as an industry is fairly new. We're newer than like the medical industry. We're less than 100 years old. It was started in the late 80s. Um, and the man who is credited for the coaching industry, his name is Thomas J. Leonard. And so um, everything we do as coaches is based on questioning, having a conversation. And so you want to make sure that you're walking into it with your ears open. You want to make sure that you're not just the person calling yourself a coach because it's easy to do that but it's not easy to do it with confidence, okay? And so the confidence comes from you having an education in coaching, learning the skill of how to take that question, rephrase it, but so it flows easy. You don't even think a second thought about it. You know you ask really good questions. You know you're good. If you were called on the spot to coach, you could do it with confidence because you've invested in that skill. And so the C-N-C-O-A-C-H is for conversation, which means reaching out, um, whether it's via email, text, inbox, DM, phone. You remember the eight coaching modals? You're just checking in to say hi sometimes. And that leads to a coaching conversation with confidence. Um, let's talk about the O in coaching, which is optimistic. Notice I've been very upbeat, positive. Y'all don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Pray <laughs> in a good way, but all is well because I'm optimistic. Most of us coaches are like that. You have to be, you have to be that as a black woman in life anyway, as a Christian in life. Anyway, because life going life in addition to you being a coach. Y'all saw my pictures where I shared. I was still teaching room fulls of future coaches, sleeping in my office on the floor, um, gas off at the house, evicted. All the stories. Y'all hear my stories, right? Life still lives, even though you get certified. You can't let it stop you. You can't let it get you down. Nobody wants a depressed coach. So O is for optimism, which is what your future life coaching clients need to hear. You're being optimistic, full of faith. That's what we call it in the Christian coaching community, right? Calling those things that are not as though they were. Speaking life, asking God for strength daily, <laughs> because it's not always easy. But when you have the skill and the confidence and the preparation behind you, you can show up optimistic because you know all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord, right? That's why we have to stand on our word as Christian coaches as well. And so optimism just simply means being that positive energy. So when I tell you guys daily during our five days, show up, bring your energy, let's exchange it because we're alive in fellowship. So come together, you know, happy, sharing good energy and positive thoughts and prayers and uh, ask a really good question, keep the conversation upbeat and positive. Your clients are gonna need that when you chat with them. You just never know um, what type of day they're having or what they really need to hear in that moment. So you want to hold that space for yourself and for your coaching clients. And sometimes that means that you need to pray before you get on a coaching call. You need to change your state, as Tony Robbins would say. Maybe go take a shower, take a walk, take a drive, take a nap, take a pill. <laughs> You're going to have to be in a space where you can hold that space. Yes, Coach Yvonne says, I agree. I always ask, so what's plan B? All right now, bars. <laughs> So you have to be optimistic um, and that's very important and you'll see different versions of optimistic in the coaching arena. But as Christian coaches, we hold that positive, upbeat space, knowing what it comes with our, our faith walk with God. The A in the word coach is all about being action oriented. That means that you're having those action based conversations. We brought that up the last two days. You're that coach that's like, let's get to work. Let's write out a plan. Let's set those goals. Let's set the structure. Let's help you get to where you say you want to be because I value the outcome of this hard work my coaching client is about to put in. And so that's that action-oriented conversation that's going to get people from thinking about something to doing it, thinking about a life goal to doing it, writing out a plan to doing it, um, even creating a checklist around it. But these are positive. They're upbeat. They help move the conversation forward. I teach you how to do all of this in the training. And so um, it goes with our acronym of COACH. The next C being CONFIDENT because that's where your confidence comes from. Confidence comes from your skill as a certified life coach, which makes all the difference 
in what happens throughout your chat with your coaching clients and your future coaching clients. They pick up on whether or not you know what you're doing. You'll be surprised. <laughs> that final H in the word coach is um, for heart or heart to heart. We've been talking about that during today's training, heart to heart, spirit to spirit, which means you're listening to the Holy Spirit. You're asking really good, powerful questions. It's not about being on script or reading out of a book or doing what you saw someone else do. You have that personal connection with God, which is literally why people will hire you because it's something about you that they saw, that they want, that they know you could help them. And so you provide coaching around that space of what's being shared with you. Then you listen, you ask really good, powerful, next level questions. And they'll know that you're listening. C-O-A-C-H, that's the acronym. Let me show you where it came from. So this is Sia, and she was an educator with a background and experience in counseling, speaking of counselors, but her job was impacted by COVID. Y'all yeah, remember the shutdown, right? <laughs> So Sia had been a friend, fan, and follower of mine online for years, and she was watching and witnessing my life, um, my life coach training, things I would share on video, all over live stream. That's how I meet a lot of you guys. And so she had even referred a friend to our online life coach certification training. And then one day, she and I decided to have a quick conversation. Remember, I said that connection usually starts with a reaching out to say hi. And so we had a quick conversation by phone, and she shared with me that she, too, believed and felt that she was being led down the path to coaching, becoming a coach. And so she even had an idea for how she would use her life coach certification, but she felt overwhelmed with all of the training options that were out there because she too was a researcher as well. How many of y'all have started looking and seeing what was out there? That's even why you here, because you were nosy by nature, seeing what was out there. And so she got overwhelmed. But during our call, I listened, keyword, right? I asked her questions, keyword, right? And as we reviewed her goals, Keyword, right? And her dreams to relaunch her podcast as a newly certified life coach and how she wanted to help people via the internet airways, like she's seen me do as a coach. And so over the years, her listening to me and watching me and listening to podcasts of me and Facebook lives of me, she really got sparked with the idea of like, okay she can help me. So we both were confident that I could help her. And so I added to our discussion how she could even take her listening and her leadership and her observation and positive questioning skills from her counseling background and put that experience together with her new role as a future certified life coach. That goes for you too. All the careers I listed out yesterday with our first 110 coaches, they come from all walks of life. I went down many of your career paths that you're currently on. Um, but you can take what you already know in your field, add it as a certified life coach and be that more powerful. So in our brief phone conversation, we chatted and it transitioned into a coaching conversation, of course. And that allowed her to realize that while she referred her friend to the training, it was actually her turn to become a certified life coach. And so after our coaching call, Sia purchased a copy of a book I wrote called The Life Coach, which now is included complimentary in our One Day Black Woman Christian Life Coach Certification Self-Study System. So she signed up, not only to purchase the book, but she also signed up for the boot camp style masterclass with me, similar to the one you are on today. And this is where she raised her hand along with Coach Camille, and she became one of the first five ladies who said yes to their destiny of becoming a certified life coach with me. And so she mentioned how she liked that I offered a one-day life coach certification training that was online that taught a concept within the coaching industry. And that concept is how to build a business as a coach. And then I give you the tools to put the information into practice. And that was important to her, both during and after the training. So she also graduated our program and mentioned how she noticed that the information I taught was more than just theory. And it was not overwhelming with information overload. And she loved that she was given proven scripts to teach her exactly 
how to reach out, how to attract new life coaching clients, both online and offline. And so this is the perfect example of the best way for us to C-O-A-C-H coach as we connect. So the idea was for us to help her decide how to add extra revenue in addition to what she was already doing, using her skills beyond the educational system. And so she started her podcast. She had 150 people say yes. Can you imagine going from the idea to do something to 150 people on a waiting list, ready to participate in what God told you to do already? So they said yes to being her special guest interviews, including myself. I was one of the first. And several of her newly found coaching community um, fellow coaches, they said yes. So they got to be interviewed first on her new podcast as well. So she expanded her vision. Can you guys see that for yourself? Hey, Gracie. So... She expanded her learning as well through um, what we call continuing education. We have ongoing mentorship and trainings for our Black Women Christian Certified Life Coaches that um, after they graduate, then you can you know, join us in our other trainings. But during my initial call with Sia, I understood that my job was not to convince her to become a coach, but to show her the power of having a conversation that was optimistic, that was action-oriented, that was confident and heart to heart. So everything I've shared in the two secrets before this one, you see it in action. So as a coach, a lot of times our job will be to simply listen, to ask questions, to honor and hold the space of our coaching clients. And that's what I meant. Um, Coach Tam says, increase my territory, Lord. That's what this is all about. So when you learn how to hold the space for your clients, when you learn how to allow them to dream and imagine the possibilities they see for themselves, it's all because you started that process too, right? That's part of having more territory. And so you're creating beyond where they currently are, where you currently are. And so as a life coach, you're there as a sounding board. And sometimes you're also a shoulder to cry on and a trusted space to open up in and vent to. So like Sia, sometimes a coaching conversation begins just out of the kindness of your heart. Maybe you are in the mood to have a conversation that day and you reach out to say, hey, to have a quick chat, to see how a potential uh, future coaching client is doing, to ask if they have questions or if anything is on their heart and their mind that they'd like to talk about and receive some coaching around. That's how that connection starts. So as a life coach, when you implement the two secrets that I've shared with you so far for how to connect with and coach, C-O-A-C-H, the acronym, then it could start out with an encouraging word, a word of prayer, or by sending a quick, hey, just checking in on your message. Coach Yvonne can tell you about those. She gets those. That often turns into a future coaching conversation. So instead of pushing your way into someone's life or trying to help or mentor, it's okay to simply reach out because maybe what that person needs is a professionally trained, skilled, qualified Black woman, Christian certified life coach in their life. So when or if that opportunity presents itself to offer the space to coach, C-O-A-C-H, our five-part acronym, with you, you get to charge for it. Did you know that? If you want to know how to do that, talk to me in the comments. Let me see like a money emoji. Let me see like a dollar sign. If you want to know how to put a price on that thing, let me know. Because our job as a coach, it starts with being there for our clients. It includes holding the space and asking questions like, what can I help you with today? Or what would you like coaching around today? Or how can I be positively optimistic and upbeat for you right now? Or how can I hold the space for you? Or how can we connect one-on-one? Or how can I honor or serve you in this moment? Those are all really juicy coaching questions because most of the time our future life coaching clients, they don't have that person in their life who really cares enough to sit and to listen and to ask them really good questions and not judge them and uh, listen to their answers and not try to fix them, not um, being biased, not share their opinions or give advice or 
everything that's not coaching, right? So that's where we come in as professionally trained, skilled, qualified Black women, Christian certified life coaches. And we're there to simply listen and to ask those questions and to hold the coaching clients accountable to what they say they want. Okay, I see some money bags. I see some dollar dollar bills, y'all. Yes, money emojis. Okay. So tell me the first two secrets real quick. What were the first two secrets that I've shared with you guys so far? They're going to help you to remember that we actually do care about our coaching clients. We care about their success. We care about their lives. We care about them achieving those goals. Either y'all typing slow, a Facebook slow, or both. C-O-A-C-H is secret number two of three. Who could tell me secret one? I'm waiting. And finally, we learned how to put a price on it. Y'all say money bags in the comments. So we're going to talk next about secret number three, how to put a price on it and charge for the transformation that you get to bring as a certified life coach. You ready? I'm ready. It's convert. Convert is price. Convert is charge. Convert is pay. Convert is invest. All words for pay me. Give me my money, money, coins, dollar bills, money bags, right? The three C's. Yes. Three secrets. Three C secrets. Coaching connect. Good job, Coach Yvonne. Convert is secret number three, and convert is your coaching conversations leading to clients, cash, chase, and credit cards. That's in a nutshell. The other C's, okay? We're doing that with confidence. And so <clears throat> the final secret is secret number three, and that is convert, which means that you have now shown your coaching clients how you can show up for them, how you can speak to where they are and how you are trained to hold the space for their dreams and their possibilities. That's literally what I'm doing for you right now in this boot camp. You're doing all of this using the connection you've made with them through the coach model. You've also shown your potential future coaching clients that you are able to have a conversation that is optimistic and full of action and that you're confident in your skills to have an honest, heart-to-heart, spirit-led conversation. So now you're ready to put a price on it and charge for what you do. That means ask for or request payment or allow people to pay you. Let the money fall, okay? Making it, let, mm -hmm. let them pay you what you charge. Not discounting, not undercutting, not the homie hookup, but you are allowing your blessings, okay? for your skill of coaching. Coaching is a service and you get to receive that investment in yourself, in your business, in your coaching skills, in your legacy as a certified life coach. And so the great part of it all is that you determine what the amount is, whether it's several hundred or several thousand dollars. And we have several of our new coaches that come out the gate charging upwards of $200 for an hour of their time to sit with them. And so, um, yeah, you know, you see them out doing their things from television to conferences, to magazine covers, to paid speakers. So getting paid for your coaching skills is the ultimate goal. Converting those free conversations that you've probably been giving away anyway, when you get the skill of coaching under your belt and increase your confidence, it also increases your confidence in your ability to charge. And so we cover how setting your pricing is very important. And we go through that in our one day Black Woman Christian Life Coach Certification Self-Study Training. I'm going to let one of our coaches, let's see. Okay, she's going to talk to us. Let me let you meet Coach Andrea. She was one of the Black Women Christian Certified Life Coaches um, who was willing to share her amazing business success story. Um, and so I'll play this quick video, let you meet her. 
hear what she has to say about putting a price on her coaching and charging for her services. And she's getting paid as a new Black woman Christian certified life coach. Here we go. Let's see. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> January the 7th. Um, I was already working on the name of my business. The, the business was uh, LLC, January the 12th. This is my, my plaque. I pushed it out to Facebook on January the 13th. I remember it specifically because my husband had surgery on the 12th. So here my husband's, husband was in the hospital, had just had major surgery. I'm at home. Holy Spirit said, push it out. I pushed it out on the 13th. My Facebook page went bananas. It went bananas. I got so many, go Andrea, so many, yes, yes, yes. Um, from that coach, um, uh, Dr. Uh, AJ, I've had, I stopped counting at maybe 15 or 20 um, discovery calls. I've now secured eight clients and one of them is a teen client. A teen client. I have three discovery calls tomorrow. So, the, so just in a nutshell, I've I've made over three thousand dollars in two weeks. Like who does that? I, I, somebody does it. I guess I did. God did. <laughs> Amazing. I, I, I just, I can't say anything more than that. Amazing. My journey has been amazing. The great women that I've met, um, um, Dr. AJ taught us about connecting with coaches. I connected with Vanessa Green, who is a coach um, through this program as well. And she talked to me about some of the policies and procedures and things that she did. And so I put the discovery call in place. Best thing I could have ever done. Um, it opened up different platforms. Uh, people are every day just about somebody says, I want a discovery call. I want a discovery call. And God is so good that the women are not only doing the discovery call, but they are booking the service as a client and the processes that I started in the beginning, which I set up uh, in the beginning, my um, invoices and all of those things set up, they pay their deposit, hold it. I mean, it's like, it's like butter. As a matter of fact, the three that I talk to tomorrow, I'm gonna have to shut the door for a second and say, okay, I got enough clients um, for right now. And I've not even been in business for a month. Can you imagine brand new, fresh out of certification? And she's like, I gotta close my doors. I've been very successful. I gotta put a pause on thinking and pump my brakes. But notice what she said. She linked up with our other successful coaches who have graduated our program. She put things in place to bring in clients and then she met her goal and she served those clients, made her money. And she found me um, online as well. She reached out at the top of a new year while she was facing two medical emergencies, life was lifing, and she still became a certified life coach. She persevered, right, Coach Tam? She's like, what a testimony. If you could hear that initial conversation, they got her here. And to think it all started in a one-day Black Woman Christian Life Coach certification training. And so Coach Andrea's story is a true definition of converted. Who's that said? I didn't know that's what convert meant. <laughs> Girl, it's, it's money, conversion. I think of when you travel to another country, you have to convert the U.S. dollar into whatever currency is in that country. Converting money, currency, right? So converting, yes, it means charging. It means getting paid for your gift as a coach. And so as a certified life coach, charging for things like your book and charging for your speaking services and charging to work with your coaching clients one-on-one -on -one or as a part of the group, that's all part of asking, requesting, allowing, receiving payment for your ability to help transform their lives. And so Coach Andrea is also a pastor, 
So yes, you can marry marketplace, making money and ministry, okay? So when you charge for what you do and you know what your skills are standing in, you're charging for that. You're charging for what you know. You're charging for who you already are, your experience, what it took to get you here. You're charging for becoming a certified life coach. It makes it easier for you to gain the confidence you need to stand out in a world of life coaches. So some people say, you know, well, Dr. AJ is life coaching saturated. It's not saturated with confident coaches who can convert conversations to clients, cash checks and credit cards. Life coaching um, has a running list of about 50,000 coaches around the world, but majority of those coaches are not being paid. Definitely not being paid well. And I know there are more certified coaches, but they're not even included on the roster. Um, and so when you get the confidence behind having the skill of coaching and then knowing how to turn that conversation converted into clients, cash checks, and credit cards, that goes together with everything we just learned. So Camille's story is a great example of connecting. Sia's story was truly the definition of the acronym COACH, C-O-A-C-H. And then Coach Andrea's story is an excellent example of how to charge for your gifts, AKA convert, which is secret number three. So these ladies answered the call to coach because they knew what they wanted. They weren't still hemming and hawing, praying about it. Let me talk to God. Let me talk to my husband. Let me check my bank account. Let me sleep on it. Let me... They knew what they wanted. They took the steps and went after their dream of becoming a professionally trained, skilled, qualified Black woman Christian certified life coach. They created their story. And you can too. You ready? Who's ready to create their story? Because day four is coming up of the future Black life coach five-day boot camp. So you better be here to get your blessing, okay? <laughs> if you know somebody who should join us for day four, make sure you give them the website, futureblacklifecoaches.com. Even if it's after we're no longer live, they can still come join us. Um, let me know, what was the number one thing you learned today about becoming a black woman, Christian certified life coach? As I recap us, Coach Yvonne says, I'm ready. Coach Tracy says, C for confidence. What was your one thing you learned about becoming a Black woman Christian certified life coach? Let's recap. By the way, I'm about to do a giveaway. So for those who held on, it's worth it. We talked about what $145,000 represents. We talked about the 10 coaching characteristics that we had several of you uh, score a perfect 100. By the way, if you didn't score a perfect 100, it's okay. We have some nines and some eights who have still said yes, and they got it together and became tens, okay? That's what my life coach certification training is about. We learned the C3 method to confidently converting coaching conversations to clients, cash checks, and credit cards using the three case studies you guys just witnessed and the two success stories. You just heard from Coach Andrea, who made $3,000 in our first two weeks as a Black woman Christian certified life coach. And you'll soon be hearing even more about our one day Black woman Christian life coach certification self study system. Coming up, we're going to talk about what to look for in your certification. I got a checklist, okay? So whether you come train with me or you go somewhere else, you need to know what to look out for, what to ask, what questions need to be top of mind as you're checking off your list. Um, we're going to go through another fun activity called the Christian Coaching Personality Assessment. You want to be here for that now. I'm going to take you behind the scenes of a day in the life of a Black woman Christian certified life coach to see how we get down, what we do. And then we'll talk through more of the one day black woman Christian life coach certification self-study system. I'm going to reveal that to you. Plus a lot of bonuses. I'll give away a lot of gifts. I love it. You're going to meet more of what we call the founding 50. And then you'll have an exclusive opportunity to join this current cohort of professionally trained, skilled, qualified black women, Christian certified life coaches in what we call the original 100. And those are the original 100 to train with me online since I launched online. Okay. Coach Tamara is saying that her takeaway was that it's not about the advice. It's about 
the listening and helping them realize their paths through rephrasing questions. Amen, coach. Coach, conversation, optimistic, action-oriented, confident, and heart to heart. Yes, JL. Somebody was taking notes. Love it. Coach Trey says, heal my own trauma first. Not necessarily true. We'll talk more about that later. But uh, you don't want to bring your uh, your trauma to your coaching sessions. We're going to help you with that. You in the training, girl. You're going to learn. You're going to learn. <laughs> Convert equals conversation into cash. Yes. And I'm assuming I need to add another C, which is create. I see that on here too, JL. Okay. So let's talk giveaways really quickly. I am live on our Zoom platform and the first person to raise their hand in the comments, maybe more than one, we'll see, but you'll get to come and join me right now on Zoom and we'll talk about your next steps to becoming a Black woman Christian certified life coach. You'll get in before anyone else does. So be ready to ask questions and to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me in this moment. Worth over $300 because it's a plum pleasing pleasure to sit in my presence, okay? So the first person to raise their hands, or you can send me a private message here on Facebook as well. I will send you in your direct, check your inbox in about 60 seconds or so. I'm gonna send you the link. I'm gonna stay live on Zoom. We're gonna hang out in the after party and you'll be the first one with the opportunity, a very special opportunity to join us right now in our Black Woman Christian Life Coach Self-Study System before I even tell the others, okay? So raise your hand or inbox me privately. I understand everybody. I want everybody in their business. Um, we're usually live on Zoom already and people just privately inbox me. So I don't want to put anybody on the spot. You don't have to tell everybody your business, but you can inbox me as well and be like, send me the link, Dr. AJ. So I am going to wrap us up here with our final words that we always leave with. I want to thank all of y'all for being here live with me. And remember, there's someone somewhere. They are waiting for you to walk in your destiny. So they can walk into theirs because it's when you let your own light shine, you give others permission to do the same. And as you know, when you impact one life as a black woman, Christian certified life coach, shall you impact in generations? I see some hand raises and I got some messages. So somebody about to start impacting generations as we speak. So me and this future black life coach and list of waiting future black life coaches, we'll see y'all the next day for day four. Set your alarms, put us in your calendar, enjoy the rest of your day. God bless. Bye, future Black Life Coaches.